Are you interested in finding out how to speak in tongues? I've got three easy steps to help you start. Find out the answer right now. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to speak in tongues. Well, actually, I prefer to say pray in tongues. Now, before someone even argues with me that, hey, you can't teach people how to do it, it should just happen naturally. Well, hold on, don't we teach people how to be saved? Or do we say it should just happen naturally? People need answers. We need to know how to walk in what Jesus has purchased for us. The word tongues can be weird to some people, but all it really means is languages. It's actually a very powerful tool and weapon that God will give you. When God gives you the ability to pray in a tongue, you speak directly to God. 1 Corinthians 14, 2 says, For anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to people, but to God. Indeed, no one understands them. They utter mysteries by the Spirit. So how do we do it? I'm going to break it down into three easy steps. Really, it's that easy. Now, there may be more I could add, and other people may add different steps or put it a different way, but I'm going to do my best to make this as simple as possible. First and foremost, step number one. You must be born again. You must be a child of God. How do we do this? We call upon the name of Jesus. Romans 10, 13 says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. When we are born again and receive Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes to live in us. At this point, you are saved. You are going to heaven. You are a Christian. That is step number one. Now step two, we ask for the baptism with the Holy Spirit, which is talked about by Jesus in Acts 1.5. Jesus said, For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Jesus further clarifies in Acts 1.8 by saying, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Notice something here with me. When you are born again, he comes to live inside of you. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit, but when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, he comes upon us. This is what happened to Jesus. Luke 3, 22, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him. Notice again, it said the Holy Spirit came upon him. Let me ask you a question. Did Jesus need to get saved? Did he need to get born again? No, he was perfect. If Jesus needed the Holy Spirit to come upon his life for power, then what makes you think that we don't. Being baptized with the Holy Spirit can happen at the same time as salvation, but most of the time it doesn't because it's not what people are taught. In Acts 8, 14 and 15, this is what we read. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to Samaria. When they arrived, they prayed for the new believers, pay attention to that, the new believers, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. Please notice the early apostles did not assume when someone became a believer or converted to Christianity that they automatically had received all of the Holy Spirit. In Acts 8, 16, the next verse, it says the Holy Spirit had not yet, look at that, not yet come upon any of them. What did you notice? The Holy Spirit had not yet come upon them. It is completely possible to be a born again child of God on your way to heaven and the Holy Spirit has never come upon your life. That is step two. Ask Jesus to baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Hey guys, as I was editing this video, I realized I wanted to add a quick prayer that you can pray if you've never been baptized with the Holy Spirit or you aren't sure if you've ever been baptized with the Holy Spirit. Remember, being baptized with the Holy Spirit is different than being baptized in water. So if you'd like to receive this, I'm going to lead you in a quick prayer. But before we do, remember, Jesus said in Luke 11, 13, that if we ask our good Heavenly Father for the Holy Spirit, he will give him to us. We are going to ask in faith, believing that God is going to give it to us right now. So let's pray this. Heavenly Father, I ask right now for you to baptize me with the Holy Spirit. I believe you're a good Father who gives good gifts, so I receive this now. I also ask for you to give me the ability to pray in the Spirit, to pray in tongues, and edify myself, and speak mysteries directly to you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have any further questions in this video, remember I was trying to keep this brief. I didn't cover everything, so if you have any questions, you can comment below and let me know. But hey, let's get on to step number three. 
Now step number three, if you wanna pray in tongues, it's pretty straightforward. By faith, you need to begin speaking in tongues. Just begin. For me, it was a challenge. For others, it's easier. Some people think, well, if God wants me to speak in tongues, then I just will. No, you can't say if God wants me to be saved, I'll be saved. You have a part to play. Or think about Peter. If Jesus wants me to walk on the water, then he'll make me walk on the water. Nope, you've gotta take a step out of the boat. You've gotta be willing to open your mouth and trust that God will help you. Paul said, I wish you all spoke in tongues. You can look all these verses up for yourself, but look up Acts 2, 4, 10, 45, 6. All places there is evidence that when people are given the ability to pray or speak with tongues is after they were baptized with the Holy Spirit. But I need you to know that the Holy Spirit coming upon your life is more than just being able to speak or pray with tongues. It's the power of God on your life to accomplish the plans that God has for you. And you need it just like Jesus. Jesus did. So again, step three, just step out by faith, start speaking. Do it when you're all by yourself. Go into your bedroom, pray alone to God in tongues. This is a different gift than speaking out loud to men and needing an interpretation. And not everyone can do that, but you can pray in tongues. When you ask to be baptized with the Holy Spirit, believe that God gives it to you. Believe that you receive it. Believe that God doesn't withhold it from you and then by faith start speaking. Now it may come easily to you or it may be more difficult. For me, it was a challenge because I got in my head too much. You just need to open your mouth and start speaking. God doesn't do the speaking for you. He doesn't force you to do it. How I have seen most people get victory in this area of life is they just begin to yield their tongue by faith and start speaking syllables that aren't in English and believe and they trust that God's going to be there with them and help them make a language and help them make words out of it. And just like you can pray in English anytime you want, you can pray in tongues anytime you want want and it's powerful. According to 1 Corinthians 14 2, I shared it with you earlier, but it says that you're speaking directly to God and you're speaking mysteries. Let me end with a story. I had a friend who was baptized with the Holy Spirit and they began learning how to pray in tongues and their son was dealing with night terrors and couldn't fall to sleep. Well, this father began to pray in tongues, prayed in the Spirit over his son at night and just like that, the night terrors went away. It is powerful and you can do this. And if you want to know the benefits benefits of praying in tongues and want to know more, click this video right here. Click here to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.